that in a lot of ways you couldn't control your own destiny. You didn't have enough truck starts or Xfinity starts to really make a a constant impression. You were in the shop, you were in the sim room, um, you were running short track races. So I'm curious, like, what did you feel like you could do to kind of like prove to everyone that if given this opportunity in the Cup Series, you could thrive and and be a winner? Well, I think, uh, I don't know, Matt. Well, I do know, but Matt, I mean, you've been around me a long time. and You've gotten to know me um, more than just Ryan Priest, the cup driver, but Ryan Priest, the racer, and and who I am and how relentless I'm willing to be. And and you've been around us, quote unquote, modified racers and, and kind of that. We're just we're a different breed. Uh, we're relentless, and and I'm relentless. So I think I think a lot of people have seen that this year. And but man, it's just I feel like the perception, or, or really who I am, I've won in anything and everything I've ever been in, and and this isn't going to change. I don't feel like I don't know how to drive a race car or, or win in the Cup Series. Um, so I, I just it's it's maximizing the little opportunities that you can, that you can get like the, I feel like there was a few other opportunities where sometimes things don't go your way and we could have had a few more truck wins and, but there's, it's just, it was maximizing the things that I could maximize. And and I feel like all those things came together and as well as having the support from, from different partners and, and all those things that, that are coming together. So, um, it's just, it's so much, there's so much to it. And, uh, but dating back, what I'm proud of is actually, I got a text earlier from a guy, Ken Schrader. I'll tell you guys a quick little story. I remember I met Ken Schrader about three years ago because I was renting a race shop that David Reagan owned, but bought it from Ken Schrader. And I, I, I didn't know Ken. All I knew was, was who he was and how badass it would be to, to see a guy like him in person, show up at your shop. And he texted me and he said that this one's a checkbox for the grassroots guys. And for those of you that follow local racing and, and, you know, I, Kyle Larson follows the world of outlaws. I follow the modified tour and modified racing. So, you know, I have competitors that I race against uh, at that level texting me, congratulations. I have their respect. I have respect to people that, you know, my elders and people that I respect. So, um, I think that's just what I'm really going to work on this year is being more of a more of a voice for for all the guys that I've raced against or watch on at the grassroots level and and try to succeed for all them. And then a uh, follow up. Um, Do you approach this year kind of like you're a rookie again? Because you hear people say the racing up front is way different than kind of in the mid pack or you you, you haven't consistently raced for wins at that level. And then you add in the fact that it's a new car, you have limited appearances in it and so much is starting to change with this car. So do you feel like a rookie all over again? No, I think, um, I think I have enough experience and people know who I am or have been around me enough. And there, there's definitely a truth to the racing up front. It's a respect more than anything. Um, so I, I would say, you have to earn the respect of the people that are racing in the top five or top 10 week in and week out. Um, but that's something that, that I've done my entire career and, and I'll continue to do that. So um, it's, it's no different than, you know, I'll, I'll use one example. Uh, Ross, for example, you know, Ross is somebody I was teammates with. And uh, before this year, did you guys write him as going to the playoffs for the final four? or or see him as a contender week in and week out. And a lot of that comes down to how bad somebody wants it and what they're willing to do. And I think my, my, you know, my past experiences show that I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And, and um, I'm, I'm not willing to lose. I'm not willing to fail. Thanks RP. Yep.